We visited wellness coach Angela Hardy to see how she treats negative emotions with kinesiology in one of her sessions. My name is Angela Hardy, I'm a kinesiologist and NLP practitioner. Mostly I spend my time teaching people how to love themselves. So kinesiology is a very interesting methodology because what we do with kinesiology is we look at all the different systems of the body that must be working in order for the body to heal. And with each of those different systems we can test for what is out of whack in relation to the issue that you came in with and correct that out of balanceness so that you're back into balance and when you're back in balance the body can heal itself very quickly and effectively. The point of kinesiology is to be able to test and find exactly what's off balance so that we can do something to help stimulate the body to fix itself. That's what kinesiology is trying to achieve in the long run. To get the body in a space where the immune system can function properly, the structure of the body can function properly, the emotional state can function properly, and the body can fix itself. My client coming in today, Rebecca, has an interesting story. She's had some difficulty in getting pregnant. And so the last time I saw her, we spoke about her adopting or maybe going for um, IVF and they've decided to go ahead and do some IVF. But obviously it's a big, big decision. It's a very big decision financially speaking, it's a very big decision emotionally speaking, and it can be very anxiety inducing, and it can be difficult to just be in your life when you're in the state of expectation, when you're in the state of anxiety for what might happen. So my name is Rebecca Quaker, and I'm a wedding planner, and I run my own business called Runaway Romance. Um, I came to see Angela today just because in my last session with her um, we spoke about the two different options that my husband and I have for starting a family which was IVF and um, adoption and after that session um, we decided that we wanted to go through with IVF um, but obviously there are some emotions and kind of some fears that were around that so I just wanted to come back to Angela today just to work through those and, and make sure that I was kind of in line with everything before starting the IVF process. So she's really coming in today for us to work on those issues, whatever might come up today around any anxiety that she's feeling, any incapacity to be joyful in her life, anything around holding her back physically that might come up, we're going to work on that stuff with her today. Let's check for sabotages. We want to make sure that the conscious mind and the unconscious mind are on the same table here. Say for me please, I am afraid to feel excited. I am afraid to feel excited. I'm not afraid to feel excited. I'm not afraid to feel excited. Say for me, I do want to feel excited. I do want to feel excited. I don't want to feel excited. I don't want to feel excited. So there's a little bit of fear here around feeling excited. Very, very often there's an emotional component involved in disease. And this is something that natural medicine understands. When we lose our balance, it's often got to do with something that's happening in our mental, emotional space. Um, we often treat the body as though the body is separate from the brain, but it's not. If you think about the fact that the brain is hooked in via the spinal column and every nerve to the very extremities, whatever you're feeling here is also affecting every part of your chemical balance. It's affecting every part of your nervous system. And as a result, when you have something going on emotionally, it's going to create um, neuropeptides being spread through the body immediately, it's going to create a feeling in the body immediately, and it's going to create physiological changes as a result. So we worked with Rebecca today on a sabotage program. So what happened is that Rebecca is so involved, she's so invested in the outcome of this process, that she's actually finding that she's just, she's dampening down her excitement for life. She's not able to be present in the moment because she's over there, pregnant or not pregnant. So we checked for what we call a sabotage program. Now a sabotage program is that one part of you wants to enjoy life, but the other part of you is just, for, in this case, just too terrified to enjoy it in case it feels more disappointing because I was in excitement and expectation of something happening. That's a sabotage program. It, it's undermining the value of her life in the moment because she's too scared that it comes out badly and then she's more disappointed. So getting rid of that sabotage program allows her just to be in the moment, in the present moment, and have a journey and have an adventure. Who knows what's going to happen? 
So let's just check for some others quickly. I do want to be present in this moment. I do want to be present in this moment. I don't want to be present in this moment. I don't want to be present in this moment. I can accept whatever outcome occurs. I can accept whatever outcome occurs. I can't accept whatever outcome occurs. I can't accept whatever outcome occurs. Okay. Um, so obviously going in, um, being, being afraid to be excited is, is something that you can't really talk about with most people because it seems a little bit weird. Um, so being able to chat with, with Angela about that is, is quite nice and it's a little bit, um, it's difficult sometimes because it doesn't all make sense. It is quite an emotional thing. It doesn't make sense when you say it out loud, some of the things. So I think going in, I was a little bit nervous, um, just that it, it might seem weird or, or not connect, but Ange has a really lovely way of kind of going to what's behind that feeling and what's behind that emotion. And I think that's what I really love about the kinesiology is that you can come in with a a thought or a feeling and through your session you can really dive into what's behind it and, and why. So I think we did do that today and, and I am feeling quite hopeful and, and I am feeling excited so it's it's good. We started the process by checking with in with her body to see what her body was saying. So I'm doing some muscle testing and when I muscle test what I'm looking for is does the muscle hold tight or does the muscle lose some tension when I'm asking a certain question? So when I asked her, when I asked her to say, I do want to be excited, her body lost some tension, which tells me that her body's saying, uh-uh, no. And when I ask her to say, I don't want to be excited, her body's able to hold, which is a yes. So that tells me I don't want to be excited is the prominent thinking of her unconscious brain. It's the sabotage in the unconscious brain. So we put that into circuit, which is the together and apart thing, which means that we're working with that issue in the body all the time as we work. And then we went ahead and we, we checked to see what on an emotional level do we have to help you with? What on an electrical level or a uh, uh, nervous system level do we have to help you with? In order to shift the sabotage out of the unconscious brain, in order to get you to a place where it's okay with your unconscious, which is really the driver's seat, that you should be happy with your life in this moment, that you should be excited and joyful in this moment, in this process, in this new adventure. And so all of the corrections that we then did were all about physiologically and emotionally shifting that experience out of the unconscious brain so that she could say, I do want to be excited about this and her body will respond with a yes. And I don't want to be excited and her body will respond with a no. So afterwards we tested that exact thing and her body did then respond with a yes and gave us a no for not excited and we know okay our job is done here there's no sabotage anymore okay so whatever is happening in the mind will actually show up in the body if i'm testing a muscle so let's say for instance i ask you to put your arm out and i'm pushing hard against your arm there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to hold against that push but the moment i ask your brain something that is a stressor for your brain so i ask the brain something let's say for instance i said my name is janet it would cause a stressor in my brain and cause that muscle to unlock. We call it an unlock, but really what I'm saying is it causes the muscle to lose tone via the nerve from the brain. And every one of the muscles in my body will lose tone as a result of something being incorrect for me. So in kinesiology, we can use that for a yes, no. We can use that to understand what might be a stressor. We can use it by putting, uh, touching a point on the body and seeing if that body is not quite, if that, if that point on the body is not working as it should. So we can interrogate the nervous system and see if the nervous system is not working as it should by touching points on the body and it will show if it's not working as it should by causing that muscle to dip off and not have the tone that it had previously. And that tells me, aha, something is up here. And it also tells me which correction to use in order to correct that thing. So I've got a list of corrections. I count through one to five, five to ten. You saw me counting. What's this counting thing I see? One to five, five to ten. Oh, okay, correction number seven on my list of 40 corrections for the nervous system is going to help to bring this nervous system back into balance around this issue. Thanks. All right, let's just double check the sabotage is gone. I do want to feel excited. I do want to feel excited. I don't want to feel excited. I don't want to feel excited. It's safe for me to feel excited. It's safe for me to feel excited. It's not safe for me to feel excited. It's not safe for me to feel excited. Feeling excited will not um, increase my disappointment if I don't succeed. 
I am happy with the outcome of today's session. I know that the sabotage program is fixed because I can literally test the body to make sure that that sabotage program is fixed. Rebecca reported back that the sabotage was feeling better because she said that she now feels an 8 out of 10 excitement and that's good news. Um, so yeah, I'm confident that she's going to go out into the world and just be able to be okay with this whole process, just be able to be joyful in her life, despite the fact that she's going through this thing, that what's going to happen. I don't have to guess what to do for you. Your body tells me where there's something not quite right. So it's very, very efficient. It's very, very effective. And it's really easy to do. do you know, you don't, it's, it's not this great mountain that you have to climb to get well. So. I've done a lot of different trainings, a lot of different modalities in my time, but I've never come across a modality that is as effective as kinesiology. I just, I love it. I think it's the most amazing treatment ever.